With lockdown still in full effect, Australians are finding solace in isolation by returning to a simpler time. Initially, I did struggle without going to work every day, but, you know, you plant some vegetables, do a few Pilates classes on Zoom, and your old life starts to look pretty foolish. Ooh! Hey, honey, I think the radishes are coming in. While couples living apart are finding social restrictions difficult to navigate, those isolating together are forging deeper bonds. I think I'm going to get off social media for a while. I mean, it's really just an endless stream of desperate comedians churning out half-assed castaway parodies. Isn't that right, babe? <laughs> well, that's true. You do watch a lot of cat videos. <laughs> Randy and Vanessa have been in self-isolation for 14 days since a colleague of Vanessa's tested positive for the virus. Now, they're making the most of their time together while waiting on their own COVID-19 test results. And Utkatasana. Good form, Vanessa. Chaturanga. I've been doing some pottery and Vanessa's learning French. I actually really feel sorry for people who are isolating on their own. I mean, I don't know what we do without each other. Right, babe? <laughs> Vanessa, you can't say that on television. <laughs> but it's not all smooth sailing for these secluded lovebirds, with domestic tensions occasionally getting the better of them. Have you seen this internet bill? Yeah, I mean, occasionally it does get a little strained. When you're in lockdown with the same person every day, sometimes you can almost feel like you're losing your sense of reality. Mm, I can only imagine. How do you resolve these conflicts between the two of you? Well, you just try to talk things through, respect each other's personal space. <laughs> Vanessa! You can't say that on television! <laughs> oh, you... <laughs> You're so good at this game. According to medical experts, the key to surviving isolation is keeping busy. It's really about maintaining a routine and having plenty of activities planned to distract in times of high stress. Otherwise, the mind can really start to play tricks on you. But it looks like there may be an end in sight for our quarrelling quarantiners, with Randy receiving a timely call from the hospital. That was the hospital. The bad news, Vanessa, is that you tested positive. The good news is I tested negative. Now, I could stay here and look after you, but quite frankly, I'm sick of the sight of you, so I'm going to go hug some total strangers instead. Whoa! Vanessa! You definitely can't say that on television. <laughs> See ya.